Hey guys, Keith from Helvonic Games. I'm going to show you the location of the artifact of the gatekeeper on the Kabbalas map. Okay, so first things first. Coordinates, it's 51.2, 76.5. And what you're looking for on the map is kind of around about here. Okay, now there's a, there's a long... There's a large gully of water that runs for a long, long way up the map. And this is kind of one end of it. It's kind of blocked at this end. And a good landmark to have a look out for is you can just see the, the beginnings of some ruins there. Just in the cave there. And you can see them as you fly past. Uh, there's also some ruins up there. And a large waterfall. Just have a look round. That's kind of what it looks like. Okay, can't take dinos in here, so I'm going to leave him there. I'll leave some sleeping bags at the start and I'm pretty sure that once you are through here you can't get dinos out yep disallowed release not allowed in target area I don't think I can fly them in I'll, I'll try but can't release okay let's see if we can fly them in there see if there's any space it would be nice to get a Desmodius in there to be like, oh no you can't actually uh, yeah, you can't actually get past that, that that pillar there uh, oops, let me pass that one but uh, you can't get it through the through the entrance so that's a shame so we won't be taking our Desmodus today just don't have to put him away though otherwise I can't get in okay we'll leave him over there because he's got some other stuff on me I've also got a personal grave there to recover my gear in case I die. It was bugged last time I came in here and I died right after the gatekeeper artifact. Um, so I actually got one on my inventory so I'm not going to be able to pick another one up but that's okay. I'll still show you where it is. So basically go down and down and down and down. Oop. Let's keep going down these uh, spiral stairs. It's a relatively long run on foot on, on a dyno it would be seconds but... Uh, Keep getting there. Uh, keep, the lag keeps turning me around. Uh, just there we go. Okay, and then it opens out into an extremely beautiful area. Now the first time I came through here, there's nothing immediately violent. Obviously they'll aggro if you get too close, but they would anyway in the wild. They're otherwise like the passive, so leave them um, and pass that. And there's a left way there. It's completely linear, so I don't really need to show you the option. It looks like maybe something in there, because there's a dark, there's a red colour. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, okay, so here's a location of a treasure. And um, um, a Sikos gem. Sikos gem, I, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, made for crafting, but haven't found a use for them yet. Nice little, uh, nice has suit top there, that's really nice. Okay, so a pretty good treasure. That was a red. That was a red drop box, effectively. Um, okay, so I move through to this area. It's still linear, and um, I tend not to go through the bushes just so I don't aggro um, a Gigapithecus by accident. The uh, last thing I want to do is try and kill one of those with a shotgun, and just go straight ahead. As far as I can tell, there's nothing to either side. Maybe some. Um, Maybe some treasures to be looked at in those ruins, but I'm not going to investigate that right now. Very straight on, and um, last time I actually went through there, but there was a Gigapithecus inside, so I'm going to go around so I can see everything. Right around the outside, and through this double horse archway. I don't know if that damages you or not. Um, there is a treasure location on the edge of that. Oh, it's there again, actually. So there's another treasure there. Another red one. See what we get. Oh, Rex saddle and a Dynamitus saddle. Nice. All oh, descendants. So that's quite good. So there's two treasures found so far. And um, in fact, there's, there's um, R Megatherium in here as well. R, R Megatherium. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> R. Like a pirate. I'll get up through this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Dead linear. Beautiful area, of course. I'll look back and can't really see past the trees, but it's beautiful, this area. There's nothing in here, really, but passive creatures. And then just straight through here, and guess what? There's the artifact. There's the artifact. 
of the um, gatekeeper. Yeah, we'll let you pick up more than one, of course, so let's leave it on the floor. Um, and when I went down there, I bugged out last time and died, so um, I've shown you the artifact. That's the easy bit. I'm now going to see what happens this time when I walk down here. Last time I just bugged straight out and died. So either it's an incomplete area of the map. Oh, there we go, bugged out. So it pushed me straight back out to where, where I initially went in. Let's see if it kills me this time. Well, it hasn't killed me yet. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll try it again. So we can just try again. So the artifact is there. Um, what I'm going to do this time is go down on my uh, glider suit. See if it's something to do with the floor. Oh, and it ported me back to the top. So I'm suspecting you're not meant to go down there. Or it's bugged. Because, yeah, because that, that stuff there is similar to the ambergris rock on the lunar area of Genesis 2 so that gives element or uh, sorry element shard and there's crystal down there's resources down there so there must be a reason for having this area uh, I don't quite know why it's booting me out I'm going to follow the right wall try that I've actually come a bit further this time than last time follow the right wall see if it lets me further down I have got my awesome spyglass on so I should be able to see any any um, creatures there's obviously something down here. This isn't. Um, oh, it's actually going to be water. Okay. Uh, looks like uh, sort of pearls. Yep, sort of pearls. Oh, this is interesting. So I couldn't get down here last time. It's, I can't even. This is on the, on a high gamma too. So I'm just glad I can see monsters. <laughs> this would be scary. I'll have a swim. I'm assuming it's. A central uh, thing. There's an exit out there. I haven't seen any dinosaurs yet. A, I'm assuming that's the other way around, but let's climb up here first and see what's up this area. There could theoretically be another artifact this way. Uh, so what's that way? Didn't think there was anything around that corner. Oh yeah, so that is a central thing. You swim right around both sides. And uh, we'll go up this up this hill. Oh, that's just brought me out outside. Completely outside. I wonder what that green light is though. What's that green light? Probably some form of treasure, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, a treasure box. Oh well there we go, green treasure. Another Ciscos diamond, that'll do. Assuming they need those. And uh, the location of, well, location of this pond then is 63.84, sorry, 63.8 and 71. And of course that's also the location of a treasure. And we'll go back down, we'll see if there's anything more in that water. Uh, I would take that paste, but I think I would just get killed. So I wonder if you'd go down this way, in fact I'll get my Desmodius out again. I'll just see what happens when I go down this way because right so that's not the that's not the way was it it was that way wasn't it or have, I, have I got turned around no I've got turned around it was it was to the right over here oh I have got lost down down there, wasn't it? There we go. Right, see if a Desmodius, Desmodius can get down here, or whether it gets blocked. So it can get it can get into this cave where the where the water is. We swam through, and you, know, you can get around. Let's see how far we can get. And uh, just trying to find the way back now. <laughs> trying to find the reversal. There's a way up there. I guess that's just back up to the top of the ramp. That's the way outside again. 
So that's a quick way down for a flyer. Just trying to remember where we swam. If it was around the other side, then follow it around the other way. Oop, oh, I thought it was going to stop me then, but it let me. Maybe it was either that way or that way. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't get the Mandesmodius that way, so I'm pretty confident that's the way I need to be. <laughs> Interesting. So let's see what's this way. Yeah, and that's the way we actually went, so to the ramp. So it's this way. And you can see you can't get Desmond, you can't get Flyer through. So a lot of people might think that actually, I wonder if it can come through on its own without me. Is it just going to be stuck there? If I stand here, will it come? Nah. Alright, so that's fine. We'll go and try and get it back into its... Uh... Ah. So one thing I don't like about these soul pods, once you've emptied them, the, the empty one isn't in your hand anymore. Okay, so essentially that's the artifact of the gatekeeper. Looks like there's nothing down here, but this would, I would think, be a quicker way to get it. Uh, I suppose you'd have to, you'd have to have a, you'd have to have a climber or something. We'll go up with it using our climbing hooks. I was thinking it might actually be quicker to come this way, but then the fact you can't. Uh, In fact, you can't use. Actually, I'm not even sure I'm the right way here. <laughs> so let's climb up. Let's see. I think I've come the wrong way. You know, I don't even think it's this way. <laughs> well, I've showed you where the gatekeeper is. Now I'm lost. So I think I'll call it a day there and stop wasting your time. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you again on Helvonic Games.